What's going on everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to be covering e-commerce stores to inspire you and amaze you for 2022 so you can bring this inspiration into your very own store, make it look better, make it convert better so you can grow your store in 2022 and just crush it every year after that. We have 8 stores lined up here today so we're going to go over to each one and look at different tips and inspiration that you can bring into your very own Shopify store. So make sure you stay to the end of the video. Before I dive into it, I just want to thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It's going to allow you to skip those spreadsheets and get back to growing your business. It comes with a 15-day free trial, and there's a link in the description below to access that there. We're also going to show a quick video detailing their full feature set. Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. So let's go into our first store today. That's going to be Raycon. It's a set of headphones here. They're wireless and they've been pretty popular amongst different affiliates on YouTube. If we take a look at their site overall, that is T-Pain right there. So they are showcasing a celebrity endorsement here, showing him enjoying his headphones. So you get to see them in action. It's also going to give you relative size. So from the homepage here, it is quite clean. It's going to show off what the headphones look like. I encourage you to shop now. It's using a video background to show you what it's actually like to give you a better idea of the product. It's going to lead into the best sellers so you can see the products and how much they cost. You also have a Raycon fan section, which is going to show off people using the headphones. So that's going to be that social proof, as well as having testimonials and 100,000 five-star reviews, they claim. In their header here, instead of using a free shipping thing, they have a link to how beneficial these headphones are. So focusing on benefits rather than features. Actually, I take that back. That one is very feature-oriented. But because those features are so beneficial, they're going to include that in the header there. If we take a look at the actual product page. You can see some things they do well is they have an EV or easy variant selector. They have the reviews linked here. So we can see 71K five-star ratings. We don't see an upsell here. So they're trying to increase that average order value, which is gonna help increase their profitability. They're a little social proof here saying their product is available on Best Buy as well. And a really good product page in terms of the number of detail it has, along with describing the benefits, so not the features here in the product copy, followed by some more social proofs saying, here are the reviews from these big sites and names that you recognize, some more details on the actual features, what you get in the box. So it's really setting that expectation so you know exactly what you're getting here and there aren't any questions then you dive into that social proof reviews so overall a very strong product page so if you to take inspiration from this it's going to be the amount of detail they include on their product pages which are going to be the key selling point as many ads are going to your product pages customers are going to make their purchasing decisions on the product page you want to make sure this is strong and has enough information to convert the customer so let's take a look at the next website for inspiration here and that's going to be another one product or mainly one product website and that's going to be one wheel which is kind of a one wheel skateboard here that is electronic so this project or product lends itself very well to a video because it's going to show you exactly what it is what it does how it works something that's better described in a video than some product copy if you go by the line, a picture is worth a thousand words, a video is worth way more than that. So that's why they chose to use a product video in the header there. So along their homepage, they're showing off different models. So see the price. They have really high quality product imagery. I quite like this 3D attachment here, where it's going to attach all the extra accessories you can get. It's going to make that more appealing. Link for inspiration is the photo bar from this website. They're going to list just a few really good bullet points here, telling things such as safe checkout, FedEx and UPS shipping, made in America, plus a 12 month warranty. These are going to be quick, digestible bullet points. They're going to help spread why this brand is so important. A page that you should take inspiration from here is the stories page. And they're going to share a bunch of stories of how people use the product, photos of them with the product. And it's going to make it let's bring it to life here so rather than just seeing some random testimonials you can click into these stories you get background on the person what they use the one wheel for and also about their life so they're creating characters around these products so if you attach yourself to one of these characters you might attach yourself to the product as well now this is going to depend if you have a high quality product that you can do this with but they do have a customization option that's going to show you what it looks like very similar to how car dealerships get you to customize your very own car and you're going to feel a little more attached to that there because you can see exactly what it looks like and it's customized to your specifications. Again, if we take a look at the product page here, we can see it lists the price. It's got a pretty prominent buy now button, some details on the features. It's going to lead directly into a video, social, social proof, or photos surrounding the product. And overall, this product page is quite long as it has a lot of imagery here showing a lot of different features and benefits. And each one of the things is designed to help convert the consumer. So really focused on bringing a lot of high quality, relevant things on the lead page. Most customers probably aren't going to click around 
so converting him on that one page similar to Raycon is going to be extremely important. Next let's take a look at Warmly here. It's going to be a home decor and accessories website. So one thing we can look at inspiration here is they have a social proof indicator in the bottom left. It's going to show when people have purchased the product creating that sense of scarcity as well making sure that you get yours and you can order it right away. So that's been shown to help increase conversions as well, although it's gonna depend on your products in your store. And this website does really well is really good product imagery. Most of their images show the items in action here, so you can see them in a house rather than just the product itself. So it's easier for you to visualize how it's gonna actually look. I quite like the rotating images if you hover over it on a desktop, because it's gonna let you check out something without having to click into the product. Something they did a good job with this website is on the checkout page here, as they have free shipping, it's just gonna say free exclamation point. So that's gonna draw your attention a little bit to be like, oh, hey, shipping is free. And so I don't have to worry about that cost, which is nice to see. They also have double checkout buttons here. So they have the smaller one down here and they have the larger checkout and the checkout with PayPal button on top, which can make it very visible. This is gonna be really strong on mobile if we collapse the window a little bit. As rather than having to scroll to the bottom and look for the checkout button, it's gonna be very obvious to where it is. They also have a little bit of featured bullet points so we can see McPhee secure checkout, not our Amazon or in stores creating that little bit of scarcity. They also have a 90 day money back guarantee. It can all help give comfort to the customer when they are adding their items to the cart. Next, let's take a look at ColourPop here. So it's gonna be a makeup brand. And something that's very striking about this website is that they chose their color palette. And they really stuck to it. It's one that is very bright and it's very consistent throughout the website. We can see the header here for free shipping. You can see the products are very bright. The imagery is very bright and it's very consistent on this theme. The copywriting is quite good, even for something as little as the add to cart button. Rather than saying add to cart, they're saying add to bag, which I believe is more synonymous with actually purchasing products at a makeup store. It's not gonna be a giant cart. You're not in a grocery store. It's gonna be a smaller bag. And even that little bit of copy there is gonna make the experience a little more familiar. They do a mega menu quite well on this website, having a lot of imagery as well instead of just text. We can see some images for the iconic Super Shock or Shock, as well as the new Getting Fresh 30 Pan palette. What we do well is the variant buttons seem to reflect the actual color of the product. We can see it's more of a streak rather than a solid color. It's showing a little more accurately on how it's going to look. The product pages do have nice imagery showing the finished product on someone's face too. So overall, a good job there. I also like the application tips, so you can tell the customer how they should be using their product. Sometimes it's a little unsure on how to actually follow through with that. And the copy for the related products is good as well. So trying to create that cohesive experience, other than saying related items, they go complete your look. So you can add different liquid liners here to get that desired look that you're going for with this makeup. I mean, a good job with this website as well that you might want to bring to yours is having a dedicated sales link. So if you were to go to most retail stores, there's going to be a sales section either at the back of the store maybe at the front if they're showing it off but people tend to gravitate towards that if they're looking for good deals so you can do the same on your own website having a dedicated sales section that you don't want to put all your products here as that can be a little misleading but having stuff that is on clearance it's going to help incentivize customers to possibly purchase more and get good deals. Next, let's take a look at Jeffree Star's Cosmetics, another cosmetic brand here. We take a look at their homepage. Something that really stands out to me is their add to cart button. It's very bright, very easy to see, and it's hard to miss. I also like how they have the product prices located in the add to cart. It declutters things a little bit here, putting them in one section. It makes it easy to stand or understand how expensive it's gonna be as well. Something they did a really good job with as well is the product imagery. We can see a consistent theme with a consistent background. Then we can take inspiration from this site is the product bundle section. We all know how hard it is to get customers to purchase not just one, but multiple products on your website. So what this store does is it creates bundles here. You can get bundles of similar products or related products that's going to help increase the average order value and make it easier for the consumers so rather than maybe looking for each shade of this lipstick here and get them all at once they also look to have related products here so the blood lip bundle so you can get everything you need to create that look in just one order making that really quick and easy so i found definitely a good job with this website and how they did that as we all know, increasing the average order value should increase your profit as you're getting the same consumer to purchase multiple things. As one of the biggest costs is getting that customer in the first place. So the more you can get them to order, the more profitable you theoretically should be. Next, we'll take a look at a different one here. This is a furniture store. So it's called thebrick.com. They have a lot of items on their website. And something they do a good job with is categorizing things by themes. So if we scroll down, we can see a patio season section. So we can see the entire patio section on sale. So if you're interested in that off the homepage, you can click into that to show descriptions of the summer, how to style it, 
And it's going to even further categorize that down so we can see outdoor furniture, dining, entertaining, and accessories, along with a list of products. They have articles detailing the best patio ideas. So this site is a good example if you have a large product selection and you're trying to figure out a way how to group things down and organize them so it's easy for a customer to click through things online. This is very different from a store as it's quite easy to just simply walk up or ask someone for the section you're looking for. And to recreate that experience online is difficult and the brick has done a good job with it. And if you're a Shopify store of any size, you want to be working on your blog. So it's going to help create SEO content that's going to get discovered and you can feature your products throughout here. So Brick has some good examples. This article is the best patio ideas to get you excited for spring. It's going to dive deep into here for different themes around it. So we can see must haves, fun activities, and throughout they have product imagery as well as links to those products here if you're interested. It's going to help give consumers an idea of what the product is about, how it looks in real life, and how to use it. We've got two more stores here. So let's take a look at the second last one. That's going to be indestructible shoes. Something I like from this website is they have a pop-up when consumers consumers first show up after a few seconds it's going to load it's going to encourage a customer to gather that email address and get 10% off right now if you were to ever take a look at your google analytics you would realize that most people leave after just a few seconds so the ability to collect an email address gives you as a store owner the ability to contact the customer by their email, which is going to be a free way to contact them, which is going to be much cheaper than trying to reach them on an ad platform such as Facebook, or Pinterest, or TikTok using the retargeting pixel. Now it's going to be effective here, but this is a great more one-to-one -one medium style message that you can send them. So collecting their email is going to be extremely important. So what I like here is the header is going to give them a discount code as well as a time period in which they have to use it. Something you may want to add to your website is this chat widget at the bottom, making it really easy for you to contact their customer service team. So many customers have questions when they're searching searching for the product when they're looking at the details. It might be a quick question, but that's answered in a short period of time. They can then go ahead and buy that product. So if you have the ability to have quick responses, I would definitely include a live chat icon in the bottom right. Something else they have is this reviews tab. So if you just want to see reviews generally for the site. You can see a lot of different product imagery showing people using the product and wearing them in public which is going to add that social proof, which is so critical. Something else I like here is the testimonial at the top. So we can see this one's from Ryder Black. The testimonial is, I wore them all day, trimming trees, and my feet stay cool and comfortable. It's going to be relevant to the type of customer that's going to purchase this, as they are indestructible shoes. In the benefits section, they're going to do a really good job here, showing quite a few different product images, detailing what the product does in action. Beside every benefit here, you're going to see it in action. So we can see European seal toes, getting run over by a car and it seems to be okay. You can see it's puncture resistance as they're stepping on a set of nails. Along with that, it's flexible, so it's folding, cushioning midsole. You can see how thick it is. And it's gonna show the weight as well. So definitely they did a good job here with the product pages showing off exactly what the shoe can do. Lastly, let's take a look at limited run games here. So it's gonna be a gaming website focusing on a lot of physical goods and a lot of different packages you can get with video games that are only gonna run for a limited time. So right off the bat, we can see a strong color theme here with a really good header bar that's actually going to rotate through several different messages leading to links along there too. Showing off essentially their top sections here so we can see Blade Runner Enhanced Edition, RPG Golf Legends, as the Dreamscaper, giving you a quick update on what's going on. Apart from the consistent theme here and the bright color buttons that are easy to distinguish, one section that you can take inspiration from is the buying guide. So if you're going to purchase them from the first time, this helpful guide will help arm you with the information you need to stand the best chance of staying our games. We'll give a short description here on how it works along with some really helpful tips and pointers as it's going to make it easy for the customer to get these games without any mistakes being made along the way. And also setting up those expectations as this is a limited run site. So we can see here that all games are limited but most are open to pre-order. It's going to tell you if you want to get your games you should be pre-ordering here and how early you should be logging in. But any sales here so you can make sure you're getting that on time. So overall some really good descriptions here on how the site works. And if you have a site like this where it's a little more complicated let's say to buy something this is going to be extremely important here into helping convert those customers. As let's say you're here for the first time, you're looking for something. You can see that's not in stock. That's going to be frustrating if it's something that's a good price or if it's going to be limited edition and you're not going to be able to get it again. So overall, this concludes the video on e sorry, e stores to amaze you in 2022 here at the time of recording. Let me know in the comments what you think of these videos. We try to go over a different set of stores covering different niches. So I hope you enjoyed this inspiration along the way. And I hope this inspires you to add some specific things that we talked about to your own store to help increase it this year. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And lastly, I wanna mention our sponsor, ProfitCalc again, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It's available with that 15-day free trial. So make sure you check out that link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.